booktube it's louise the big head bookworm how are you how are you well today are you having a good day today is friday the 21st of october and that means it is day five of spookathon i still haven't got anything better than spookathon i am going to work on that I, I promise you i will work on that so i'm here with my update of the books that i have read or listened to in this week during for spookathon so the first one that i started was six four by hido yokoyama I put it down, I I realised I read 128 pages on Monday for it and then on Tuesday I didn't pick it up and when I felt like reading and I went towards it I would distract myself rather than pick it up and when that starts to happen you have to say you're not the book for me right at this moment but I am interested in it and I do want to continue with it but I know it hasn't gripped me. And for a readathon, I want a book that's going to grip me. So bye. Bye bye, 6 4. I shall um, renew you in the library and I shall continue afterwards. I think. I hope. I hope I might get distracted and pick something else up. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have, however, finished my Robert Harris Conclave, which is a thriller about the choosing of a new Pope. Now that doesn't sound very exciting, but yeah, it was, it was so gripping. It was eight hours and 20 minutes long and I loved it. I really liked the narrator, that makes such a difference. And it is set in the Vatican City, of course, it's set in the Sistine Chapel and all of the, the choosing. And it, it was wonderful hearing the Latin. I really enjoyed that. I didn't realise how much I was going to enjoy that. But when they're talking about the services and they're, they're hearing the Latin spoken um, was glorious. I really enjoyed it. I, to begin with, I was wondering whether I would cope with all the different names because it's talking about the cardinals from throughout the world. Um, would I really understand who everybody is completely? I picked it up so quickly. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, I did think I knew where the ending was going to go. And I was right. So that was a bit of a shame. That was the only letdown. But there were only so many endings. Um, however fabulous Robert Harris is, there are only so many endings he could have. And there was a p suspicion of one ending. And I was like, no, I don't want that one. I really don't want that one. And, that and he went for the one that I thought he was going to go for. And... Um, I think it fitted the last bit I have seen a lot of people the people that have already reviewed it quite a few people have commented on that there's a last thing and how they feel about that but I, I really enjoyed it didn't it I, I mean he's a, a, a really accomplished really good thriller writer so for the speakathon th challenges I have completed three of my challenges I have read slash listened to a thriller, uh, a book with red on the cover, oh yes, and a 2016 release because this came out in September, September the 22nd in England. So, so yes, so that's three already. So, oh, woohoo! So, tick, tick, tick. So, I'm very pleased with myself. Um, the next book I have picked up is The Witch's Daughter by Paula Braxton, and I am this far so I am about a third the way through 174 pages um it's quite handy I can play the book um it's quite slow no it's not slow you're not slow I s let me take that back you're not slow um it's one paced there's lots going on uh, it's about a, well, this will give you an idea. My name is Elizabeth Ann Hawksmith and my age is 384 years. If you will listen, I will tell you a tale of witches. So you think, wow, oh, gosh. And I read the dedication and, it, and, it's, and she talks about how the book has taken a long time to come out and all these people that have helped her and everything. And I think you can feel effort. You know, sometimes 
a book feels is just as though it was created it, it emerges on the page in front of you and and it's perfect in its in its way and you think oh it's just marvelous but this i can actually sense the effort of the author um maybe that's just my interpretation of of it but that's very much how i'm feeling about it it is fine would i have continued reading it if i hadn't been reading it in the readathon probably not i probably would have given up and gone it's too much effort to read um after all the effort you've done to write it i'm finding it too much effort because it is so one paced and yet all the stuff that's happening it shouldn't be it's gone back to when she was um young at the moment so that's you know middle ages which is a fascinating period and yet and it's all magic and witches and warlocks and what have you and yet uh, oh are you feeling me so i am trogging on and that's how it feels it feels a bit like a trog on um so i've got kind of 300 pages or just under 300 no i can't have well i've got ages uh, i have i've got about 300 pages to read of this so that would be a day and a half for me really so i am going to carry on with paula and the witch's daughter and i'm hoping that at some point it gets a bit better not better no that's wrong that's that's a judgment call that i don't want to do i'm hoping that the pace increase i think that's what it needs it needs a big injection of pace it needs something but i wonder whether that'll happen anyway so the witch's daughter i know quite a lot of people really like it i'm hoping that i become one of those and there we go that's it that's my update so far nothing very exciting um life is happening this week as life is want so it's busy 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 um i'm really enjoying watching everybody's videos and seeing the comments and i haven't been able to join in any of the sprints on twitter because of the time what time the sprints are it's the wrong time of the day for me um but i've been really enjoying watching bookerly's daily updates and books and lala's updates and i um pages page i haven't um watched any of hers yet but i've just been really enjoying seeing everybody's what books people are reading and that kind of stuff so that's been really cool um so yes i hope you've been enjoying it too and i hope you're having a very spooky time all right then booktube it's been lovely let's do this again Bye bye